Howdy strangers, welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2020 for episode number 3 of our David Goodu Pro Cyclist uh, following episode 1 and 2 where we, we did relatively well, uh, UA Tour was quite successful for David um, we've had a month break as we now head towards the uh, JPL Pais Vasco or Etulia Basque Country um, we're gonna have 6 stages including one time trial, hopefully we'll be able to do well Five hilly stages, which means five opportunities to potentially take the win today. Um, the first one is a downhill, so I'm not sure we'll, do it, we'll be able to do anything. Second stage is literally the same end. Okay. Then it's a sprint. Then it's a time trial. Then it's a sprint. Then it's it's a hill. We have one interesting stage, I think, and that's about it, uh, which will be the final stage. But without further ado, let's jump in into this EPL Pais Vasco and see if we can carry on with the fitness we have had on the UAE Tour. Let's go. It's a minus two to start off with David Godu. That's not ideal. Let's be honest. That's not ideal for, for good old David. But it's fine. Right? It's We out here. We good. We should be able to do it. We'll see if we maybe try to make a move in the final climb. The Eklano Gaina, sorry. Uh, already some attacks. Ben O'Connor. Chun Kai Feng has attacked, boys! <laughs> yes! Yes! He's there! He's done it! He's on. Oh, he's already out of energy! But look at him! He's in the breakaway! Get in! Get in! The legend carries on! It is with a deep, deep disappointment and deep sadness that, that Chun Kai Feng uh, well, got dropped. Yep. From the breakaway, at least. Because we have Warren Margil, Ben Hamans, Carl Friedrich Hagen, Joey Roskopf, and Nance Peters trying to be the breakaway of this first stage of the Itulia Basque Country. I've made sure to be once again in normal difficulty. Well, I mean, in extreme, right? I've left crazy because, as I mean, it says it was crazy. Also, my maths were wrong. I mean, the math went wrong, uh, but my, uh, my knowledge of the DB was wrong. Basically... Crazy doesn't mean it's time 1.2. 1. 1. There's no 1.2, right? It's 1.25 for the first difficulty they've added, then 1.5, and crazy is 1.75. So, I did not face Von Art uh, with 105 cobbles when I had Tibar. I faced him when he had 150, <laughs> which explains my 123rd place. So, yeah. I just wanted to clarify that for, for those who, who were happy to see me lose. It was slightly unbalanced. <laughs> I won't lie, it's a very odd stage because uh, the peloton keeps on chasing everybody down. The breakaway has been cut up, which I mean should mean that the peloton would stop, but they don't. I'm very confused. Also, I haven't checked my team. We've got Alexis Brunel, Kylian Franchini, David Godu, obviously, Romain Segle. Valentin Madouas, uh, Mathieu Lazenius, and Ramon Sinkeldam on this race. Alright, I don't know why Ramon Sinkeldam is there. Or Mathieu Lazenius, I don't think either of these uh, riders will like be of any help. But why not? Why not? Acceleration in the, the Alto de Aya. Famous come on this Basque Country, which is where I lost the, uh, <laughs> the Basque Country last year with Perito, if you remember well. Uh, there was a time trial here, and we didn't exactly do well. But it is Luis Van Sanchez pacing at the front of the race with Lutsenko in the wheel. Counter attack from Lutsenko. We've got Camilo Ardila, Jacob Fulsang. Alright, they're, they're going a bit mad. David, you need to hold on with these guys. Alright, just stay with them. Alright, stay with them. Lutsenko has died at the front. Decent. Uh, let's try to avoid having a gap here. Yeah? yeah, thank you. Nice. Alright, we move. 37 riders at the front. We still have Valentin Madras with us, and that is absolutely brilliant for David Goody. Now we're going to try and start pacing in the Eclano Gaina. Uh, I'd love to be at the front. Currently we're getting blocked by, uh, by Dries de Venance. Uh, come on, Dries, mate. Just like let me through, fam. So all I'm asking is to go through. Unless I can maybe follow Lutsenko here. Then move towards Brandon McNulty, which we nearly picked as our pro cyclist. Why am I not pacing? I swear to God I asked to pace. Acceleration from Joseph Lloyd Dombrowski. Aye. Right. Well, you do you, big man. Where's David? David's fine with uh, Julien Lafilippe. is also here. One of the favourites, obviously, to win this into the Basque Country. A parkour that suits the Frenchman, but it suits another Frenchman. As Lafilippe attacks. Julien Lafilippe makes a move. He's followed by Rui Costa. 
Rafael Guerrero, no, Ruben Guerrero, Begal. Alright, Alaphilippe's got a lead. Alaphilippe has got a lead. But we do have a little downhill portion, you know what that means. It is time for the first acro downhill of the year. Come on, let's go. Much better descender. Much better. Look at him fly through them corners. Not scared at all of everything crash. That's my guy right there. Alright. We've got Alaphilippe in the lead. Then Rui Costa. Then Godu, Formula, Roglic, Darrell MP. I'm not exactly uh, hoping on Formula to pay. Why? Davide, are you dumb? I feel like you're dumb. Darrell MP. No, 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 congratulations for to, to like still be here for him. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll follow Formolo if the man is already sprinting. Thank you, David. Very kind of you. Or Davide. But the win today in uh, Zaraout. Zaraout? Oh no, it's for Julien Philippe ahead of Rukosta. Double MP, Godu, Formolo, Roglic. And then the peloton led by Ruben Guerrero. Nope, Egan Bernal. No caps. Alright. Alright. If you want, knowing that there's no bonus seconds as well. There are. I thought there was no bonus seconds on this race. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, uh, Alain Philippe takes the lead of the GC. And we're now in fifth position in the same time as everyone else. Nice. Brilliant. Also, um, regarding time gaps. Time gaps are made solely on the new stages from Cyanide. So, every like, race from 2020 will have gaps. Uh, but the others, like the, f the old variants and shit, won't have any changes to them. So if there's no gaps, that's why. And it's go time for David Godu. Uh, I'm aiming to be in the podium of the stage. Right, how do I? Right, how do they want me as a leader and as fifth place of the GC to be podium, but also to be in the breakaway? Right, well, it's just no, lad. Just no. Uh, I just wanted to make sure, yeah, the transfer's working, alright, good, 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 um, yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait, no breakaway for David today, is that Shinkai thing in the break? Nope, Mikael Scherel, Serge Pauls, and Harm von Hooker, oh, there's been a big crash, there's been a crash, and there's been some damage, uh, I'm pretty sure Froome was on the ground, Luis Lund Sanchez was on the ground, but mainly, Remco Vinopol is out of the race, the young Belgian who targeted the Giro is out, he's out, big L, Big, big L for, for the, the, the 12 years old. That, that's not what he wanted. It's really not what he wanted. Uh, who's in the break? Who joined Von Hooker? Oh, it's the completely new break. Bargil and Nara Quintana are in the break. Okay. Nice, come. It's fine, isn't it? It's, it's fine. I'm completely fine with it. Final 12 kilometers, meaning we're going to start the final climb of the day. The club of San Pelayo. It is, uh, I mean, similar to the first stage, right? It's a very tough climb. The beginning of the downhill is uh, acrobatic, descent, well, downhillable, we'll say. Is that Daryl MP? Daryl, why are you pacing? You're third, you're second in the GC, big man. All right. Oh, Roglic. Roglic making an early move here. Primus Roglic making a very early move. We're going to try and follow it with Valentin Madoua. And David Godu right now. Okay. David is trying to follow... The oh, Julien! Oh, Julien! Julien is crumbling! Julien is crumbling! Oh, that ain't good. That's not good for the Frenchman. Gregor Mulberger, what are you doing? Huh? What, what, what's your plan, big man? Alright. We're gonna try and go 99 with David Godu. Can we get a little gap? At the summit of San Pelayo. And then go for an acro downhill. You know I do love my acro downhills. Right now I cannot. Now I can. Now I can. Where's Julien? The group behind. Fair. There's been a lot of crashes in this stage. So I'm trying to make sure that we are not a part of said group. For now things are looking quite good. Rui Costa has been dropped. But he came back in the main peloton. Come on, David. You've got this, mate. You've got this. Acro again. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. I don't know why the Flamrush is there because it truly isn't here. But we're going to start our sprint and it's going to be a big dub for Valentin Mad Nope, for David Godu in Bermeo. Get in there, son. 
Second place will be for Gregor Mühlberger. And third is for Bora as well, Jim McCarthy. Uh, but we've managed to beat Julien Lafilippe, who did have a minus five. That does make sense. 23 seconds. Gaps have counted today. And David Godu easily, easily takes the win today in Bermeo. Uh, we were by far the strongest. And it is good. It is good to see David on top now of the GC. It is a 1-2 for France. Julien Lafilippe is in second place. Rui Costa, Mühlberger. Uh, loser today would be Darrell MP, I guess. But does he really care about the GC? I don't think he does. Um, another big loser. This man right there, Remco Evenepoel. Also... He's fucking last! Yes! Yes! Big up Chunkai Feng! Oi! Warren Bargill, big value, 18 minutes down! Fucking hell. Uh, did Remco progress? I feel like he progressed. Uh. Oh, look at this man. Look at this man right there. What a legend. What a legend. Favorite race? The UCI World Championships ITT, yes? That's the first. It's another zero for David Godu. Uh, this time they don't want us to be in the breakaway. What a shocker. What a shocker. Uh, but we are, as I said, in the lead of the GC. Uh, and we have a zero today. Our entire team has a positive day or a neutral day, which is good. And the one is having a, well, a bad day. Once again, in the words of, the, uh, of uh, Daniel Powter. I feel like every time I say bad day, I think of this song. Um, we've got Egan Bernal. Plus four for uh, the young Colombian. It's a shame he's not going to do anything today. Uh, I'm calling it right now. Like, the winner today is either like someone like Alaphilippe or Daryl MP. Or me. Final 10 kilometers of this stage. Uh, and there is a 116 men peloton that will fight for the win. Today in Val de Govia. I don't exactly know uh, well, how things will turn out. The only thing I know is that our riders have just so much no energy. I'm um, just making sure that Julien doesn't go for a, a dumb move like he he usually could. No, he looks to be fine. All right. 10k. Oh, 5k actually. 5k, my bad. We're going to use our gel. Uh, do you have anyone that could we could use for the sprints? No, not really. All right. Uh, Chris from just crashed. All right. We're going to take the wheel of... Uh, Actually, I could have a tr I could have a little train here, if I'm being honest. Could have a, a little train, just a just a, a little train. All right, let's go. 99 with Alexis Brunel, Valentin Madois in the wheel. Julien Lafilippe has attacked. Julien Lafilippe has attacked with 3k to go. That is really optimistic. Because he's going to crumble before the line, but so are we. He's, he nearly tried to block us, uh, as one would do in a multiplayer lobby. And we're going to come home in first place for David Godu. Get in there, son. Get in there, Lewis. Get in. We take the win ahead of our Olympi. Mats Pedersen, Andra Vendrame, Junior Lafayette come to in fifth position. One more meter. We'd have lost that. But, I mean, there was not one more meter, so... We move. Get in there, David. I mean, I'll happily take the win. I'll happily take the win. That was extremely close with Daryl MP, uh, who came back at a rate of knots. I said he could have been the winner. He nearly did. He nearly became the winner today. Uh, but David Godu takes the dub ahead of the South African and Matt Pettis in the World Champion coming in third place. Julien Lafay finishes in fifth position. It's a good thing. We means, uh, it means we're going to take 10 seconds on the Frenchman heading into stage four, which is a time trial between Lodotha and Lodotha. And the leader of the Paris Vasco is on the road, David Godu. Oh, we're going to go 75. I don't know how to manage the time trial, I'm not going to lie. Uh, well, I guess we'll just see with time how things work. Uh, but David on the road, 68 today in TT for him uh, against the 76 of Julien Philippe. I'm convinced we're going to lose the jersey. But... Maybe, just maybe, we're going to be able to, to hold on to it. I don't know. We shall see. First intermediate for David Godu. One minute behind Ron Dennis. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. No, 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 no. Ah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's only a minute, right? It's... Yeah, it's... It's fine. 
Final kilometer for David Godu. We're gonna go 80 with him. We, we've, I mean, we've managed the TT quite well, if I'm gonna be honest. We haven't, like, we're, we're just going to pace a bit too much towards the end. 154. Yeah, we, we've, we've lost the jersey to, to Julien by a lot. Tom Dumoulin is a new leader, actually. Ahead of Kudkowski, Thomas Alaphilippe, Malema, Paul Roglic, Nibeli, Jungle, Smulberger. Good, we're not even in there. <laughs> we're not even in the fucking top 10 of the GC anymore. We're still white jersey, though. Uh, so we finished in... For 88th place. Alright, GC-wise, we're now, I'm guessing, 11th. We're 16th. 104 down. Fucking hell. Alright. Time to make the comeback between Vitoria and Eibar. Plus three today for good old David Godu. Uh, I won't lie, I don't exactly know what I can do here. I would, I mean, we could try an attack here, I guess. But I feel like there, there's what, five, seven, eight kilometers of false flat. I don't know if we'll have enough to, in the tank, to like hold off the peloton. We'll try, we'll try. We've got a plus three, we might as well try today. It's our first good, good day with David. So let's fucking get it. Alright, we're in the first uh, half of this climb, the climb of Endoya, which will then lead into the climb of Azurki. Uh, it is 13% gradient right now. Alright, well, let's just try to stay at the front of this group, not get dropped or anything, uh, and see if we can do anything. Like, Let's see, no, Dumoulin is already looking much better than I am. Good, I don't think we're going to do anything. Alright, well, we're pacing at the front of the group. Uh, we do have a breakaway. Four minutes in the lead for Faust Thomas Nada. Okay. It looks like we're going to have a, a win for CCC today. Oh, interesting, interesting. Who's in my wheel? Peyo Bilbao, then Tom Dumoulin. All right. Uh, is there a tough po like part coming soon? Yes, there is. All right. Let's try to attack in this portion. Is Bernal going to jump in our wheel? He isn't. Bernal does not jump in our wheel. Interesting. Very interesting. I would have expected Bernard to like directly jump and like follow until he dies. Uh, but I mean, that's good for me. That's very good for me. We're, we're with Dan Martin right now. Dan Martin has died. We're now with another Martin. Uh, well, another Martin, or if you want. Uh, all right, let's acro. We have a 20 second gap with the Peloton. It's not going to be enough. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, it won't be enough. But we're going to try while we can. Because that's what we do. We, we we try. Nice barriers along the along the side of the road. That, that's quite nice. The for safety and that. Oh shit. We were nearly in the red already. Or in the white, uh, the, as you wish. Um Who's chasing? Is that Julien? Oh it is. It is Julien Lafilippe. Ten kilometers to go. Julien Lafilippe and David Godu have a 16-second lead on the peloton, and we have a minute loss currently on Fausto Masnada. Come on, Julien, just pace with me, fam. Come on. I know you want to, right? Like, if I pace with you, you're literally going to be in a better position in the GC. You, you've got every single like reason to pace. We got co-op. Oh, and Julien counter attacks. Ah. Well, I can't have, I can't follow that. I can't follow that. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. We'll just use our gel, I guess. Stay in the peloton. Take the wheel of someone. Uh, oh my god, we're gonna die. Are we gonna die so much? Come on, David. Just hold on, lad. Just hold on. Just hold on. Whose wheel could we take? Dumoulin? Let's try to take Tom Dumoulin's wheel. Ala Philippe is out of energy, but so are we. Come on. Any of you sprint, fam. Thank you. Yeah, we're not going to win. The win today is for Davide Formolo, ahead of uh, Higuita Conrad. We're somehow going to finish in fourth place with our sheer lack of energy. I'll take that. I'll take that. All right. It's a shame we don't get any bonus seconds, though. That's a real, that's a real disappointment. And the Italian champion has taken the win today in Ibar ahead of Iguita, Conrad, Ben, uh, Godu, Bernal. Uh, I don't think there's any gaps with anybody, meaning that GC was nothing changed. We're still 104 behind Tom Dumoulin 
heading into the final and queen stage of this Itzula Basque country between Aibar and Aibar. I'm praying to have a good day with David, otherwise we'll have to settle for 16th place in the GC and that's not what I wanted. It's a zero for David Godu to finish this Pais Vasco or this Itzulia Basque country. Um, I mean, we're 16th in the GC. We, I, I want the top 10. I want a top 10. All right. I've never been able to win uh, the Itzulia Basque country because I always have a bad leader. Well, I'm sorry. I always have uh, a bad TT leader. And that needs to change. I should have take, taken like Lorenz de Plus or Brandon McNulty. Well, I guess that's on me. But if you take a look at the final climb, it is steep enough so that I can fight for it. And fight for the win. There's been an incident behind. It's Nibali. It is Vincenzo Nibali who crashed. Come on, can I go to the back of the peloton? Thank you. Uh, yeah, Vincenzo Nibali crashed. He's going to try and come back with Schkunz, uh, Pedersen, Shikone. Not Chun Kai Feng, who's uh, my, well, very sadly dying. Uh, obviously, big L for, for Chun. We, we stan the, the good old Taiwanese rider, our, our legend uh, of last year. Uh, but yeah, Vincent, if anybody has died, I don't think... He, well, I don't know if he's going to come back. I think he will. But the fact that Yannick Brambia is in the main train, pacing in the breakaway, is rather interesting. When the climb of Izua, uh, David is losing a few positions here and there, but I should be able to, uh, to hold on. Uh, and try to come back on uh, the guys at the front. Nibali did manage to come back, by the way, uh, to my, obviously, gigantic disappointment. But we should be able to stay in this group. There is a two-man breakaway with Yoni Zagire and Oscar Rodriguez. And Oscar Rodriguez has, dopped, has dropped, sorry, Yoni Zagire. I don't know if he's dropped him. That probably did happen as well, knowing that they are race for Astana. But, yeah, there's a two-man Astana breakaway right now, as Dawal MP has dead. And he has well and truly dead. We're going to take the road on the left and start the climb towards Arate. Come on, David Godu is leading the peloton. Attack already from Vincenzo Nibili. Or at least acceleration from the Squalo. The entire team from Yombu Visma is trying to chase him. Roglic directly in the wheel of Vincenzo Nibili. Valentin Madouas is going to collapse and die. But it's all good. All right, it's fine. We're going to take the wheel of Emmanuel Buchmann. Oh, he's lacking energy. Oh, he, he yellow lacking energy. All right, let's try to come back at the front. What's Vincenzo saying? He's saying that he doesn't have a lot of energy left. Good. Well, I mean, no, not... I mean, yeah, it's good for me, I guess. Uh, do I use my gel now? We might use our gel. Yeah, sure. All right. How's Roglic? Good as well. How's Philippe? Looking good. I'm the only one with that much red. But I'm also the one with the lowest yellow. Mm-hmm. I either attack or I do no or I, or I do nothing. I feel like I'm gonna have to do nothing. Yet it's in my wheel. Yeah, 22 riders. Even if we get the win, it won't be enough to to get gaps in the GC. That's disappointing. Uh, how's the red looking like? They they have at least as much as I have. We're gonna start the sprint because I know it's a downhill sprint. I forgot that I had no, no yellow. We're going to get co-op on the line. Yep. It's a win for Julien Lafilippe ahead of Roglic and Yates. Disappointing end of this race for uh, for David. I'll have to be honest. All right. Alaf is the strongest. We finished in 7th position. Uh, 26 seconds on David de la Cruz finishes in 17th place. We're going to stay... We're going to gain some position and end up in 13th place of this Itzula Bas country. Which is won by Tom Dumoulin. Yeah, the, the Tom troll just decided the entire race. It's a shame. It's a big shame. Uh, but 13, two wins, distinctive jerseys, yes, points, and best on Guada. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. However, this is where we're going to stop this episode. If you have enjoyed it, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new around here, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done that already. Click on the bell to get notified of whenever I upload. Uh, follow me on my respective social medias. The links are in the description down below if you want to join my Discord, you can. Uh, there's also my Twitch, where I stream rather regularly uh, PCM and F1 content. So if you want to go and just jump on my streams, then uh, I guess have fun. 
Uh, and if you're only following more this pro cyclist, the next episode will be the Ardennes Classic. I hope I'll see a lot of views there. But I have been Blackwood. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm bleeding. What am all the money feeding? I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop them out with the duster. Put them in the drip and sip, blockbuster.